Hey everybody, Larry Lord here. We are in my old stomping grounds. We are in Little Italy, New York. This is where I used to get rid of my diamonds. This is where I had a lot of fun. Let me turn around and show you something right here. This one or note there was a different restaurant. This was, that was a Positano. Wow, look at, look at the place, look at this place. Now none of this was here. None of these nice stuff. This whole campus is COVID. That restaurant was a buddy of mine. This is Il Cotillo right here. Look at this, Il Cotillo is the restaurant right here. We're gonna go eat today. Nick and I are gonna go eat at Il Cotillo's. Down the street a little bit is the Ravenite. We're gonna go buy it too. Okay, I'm also gonna take you to Ferrara's Bakery. Where'd you sell your diamonds at? I sold my diamonds around around Ben oh, here okay. at a little place called in on Elizabeth Street. Now that was right around the corner. Now. I'm gonna take you to a couple of places that I used to haunt a lot. Ferrara's Bakery, that's another place right down. The next street down, make a left, and that's Ferrara's Bakery. This is where they have the San Gennaro Feast, right here. We used to come to the San Gennaro Feast all the time. This is Little Italy, New York. Probably one of the most famous Little Italy's in the world. Oh, what a day, starting the day out. Was in New York all night. Now we're going to do some content with Ian Bick. We're going to have a lot of fun there. You guys are going to get to see some behind the scenes footage, which I think is going to be really cool. And we are ready to go, man. Oh, what a great day in New York City, you know. I'll tell you what, love it, guys. Can't wait to show you some more stuff. Go to meet Ian. Ian Bick. All right, we're going to be doing content with Ian Bick. Ian, there he is. We're going to be hitting it hard today, so you guys are going to see some behind the scenes footage. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like, we just, Nick and I just joined another gym. I used to be LA Fitness. Yeah, I used to do that too. It's fucking expensive. Well, it, it, it wasn't that expensive, about 30 bucks a month. But, uh, and you can bring anyone you want. Oh, in Long Island, it was 50. Oh, no, it was 30 yeah. bucks for that. So, but it was supposed to go 24 7. Yeah. And they did. Yeah. So, they just, this place called Anytime, what is it called? Anytime, Nick? Uh, anytime anytime Fitness, like, I think. Yeah, Anytime Fitness or whatever. And that's 24 7, because I get done. One in the morning, yeah. and I'd love to get out and do yeah, go take my, a jacuzzi. My, you know, <laughs> hit the bike for thirty minutes. Yeah. Or, my gym just went twenty four seven, but it doesn't have like the spa or anything like that. They have an edge in town. You know what the edge is? It's a, no. it's a big chain. Like that's nice, but it's fucking crowded, and like Danbury is a small town. Is that is that twenty four seven too? Yeah, yeah, yeah twenty four like seven. I like. Yeah, because right now I'm doing like two workouts a day, so to go. Ah, you don't too, need like, that. Nah, it's grind mode. No, 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 work out. Let me, I'll tell <laughs> nah, you what, are you doing heavy? No, I don't do Don't that. do heavy. No, I do a lot of body weight, like push ups, pull ups, yeah, sit ups. Bingo. Um, I do that, and then I'll lift a little bit, but I'm not like benching my full. I'll, I'll only bench like 160. There you go. Bro. Yeah. No, I used I'm to bench 375 and, and squat at fucking How 550. How does like, your uh, gym content do? Well, when you post stuff, I don't post stuff. I usually don't. Post nah, I mean, you know, I'm, I, that's something we thought about, but your prison gym workout. Did, did that yeah, work. yeah, that kind of stuff does good. Yeah, yeah pri prison stuff. Anything to do with prison. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> you fucking. You put the word prison in it. It, it, it does crazy. Yeah. So do you? Oh, look, diners. This is Nick. This is where we go. These are diners. These are New York diners, Connecticut, <laughs> and fucking. You don't see that in Florida. Do you live in Danbury? Yeah, yeah, I live five minutes away. Oh, so you live in Connecticut? Yeah, yeah. I thought we were going to New York. We are going to New York. The studio's in New York. What is it, like right across the way or yeah, some it's, shit? Yeah, it's 50 minutes away. 15? 50. Oh, you got a studio 50 minutes away? Yeah, that's my studio. Wow, why so far? That's where I met these production guys. Like, eventually I'll relocate, you know? If the thing really kicks off, I'd love to be in the city. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, what I did is I built the studio. Yeah, I mean, these guys, like, my deal with them is they run everything, you know? Gotcha. Here we are. We're going to a, a New York. We gotta eat. Gotta eat. So what? What time do we got the studio? Here? We got all that. I mean, it's hours for the day. Oh, okay. it's, they're our partners. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it good. Is. All right. Uh, we're, we're with them all day. Man, it's gonna be good. I'm up. What's your name? Larry. Here I am in New Hyde Park. I am in somewhere in New York, and I feel like I was going to fucking. To a fucking death match here. I thought I was gonna get whacked over here. I don't know, I'm somewhere I don't even know. And I'm from New York, but I'm in upstate New York. I'm gonna be doing some content with Ian in his studio, and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Morning, guys. How are you doing? What's up? 
Good morning. What's up, Nick? How are you? Okay, Larry, I'm Bryce. Nice to Bryce meet you. What's up, Nick? Thanks for coming out. Man. Yeah, what's up, Bryce? What's up, Nick? Sean. I'll take Nick's that for you, Larry. Right here. Oh. How's the ride in? Alright. Fucking long. I thought it would get whack. <laughs> yeah, Larry needed to stop and get some underwear. Yeah. <laughs> we both did. <laughs> nice. Nah, What's I up, Vic? How are you, man? I need to get the underwear. Why? Did you shut yourself? No, I forgot to fucking um, uh, pick up my laundry this morning at the gym. God. So I had to go commando. God. Got some breakfast. Yeah, you look nice right now. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Tell me, make it, I, I don't want to move. Once I'm set, we're here for whatever we want. Yeah, we're going six hours later. But trust me, I, I am in. I got drinks, and they can get drinks. Oh, man. Yeah, I need the assistant. Look. Oh, Nick's good, right? Yeah, Nick's good. He's, and he's got, look, he's got the vlog going. Got the camera going. going. Cause it, we'll do your studio. We'll we'll do, we're calling this behind the scenes. We do studio. And, and we'll give you guys the, you know. Right, start so taking notes, man. We need to come up with an application for this. Sean and Bryce. Bryce, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, they're the crew. Bryce Harper. Yeah, wait till he gets an action on the cook-offs, man. They're gonna, that's, oh, that's he, he's, he's gonna start telling you what to do. Man. Micro missile. Yeah. Ah, God, tomorrow's coming. How about Shanks? I was gonna make Shanks here. Shanks? <laughs> you nervous to go off against my dad and him? He could, he could smoke you. Man. He's a real fucking cook. Yeah. I'm a fucking prison cook. But he's been learning the prison cook. <laughs> he's coming up with some good shit. He's How many is? He's been losing, he's been, No, he won one. So, yeah, okay, but he's, he's lost two. two. Oh, what, 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 I'll give you a warning, though. JD got inside information. These two like that. They think JD. Listen, we're doing it for the shot, okay? So they want JD to win the rooting against you. I'm not just one episode. No, I want. I want the only people to beat JD and sequentially, so that that hasn't happened on screen yet. But Ian and then Larry's the only person. JD was gonna make fucking noodles or some bullshit, and they they teach him how to make spaghetti and meatballs with spam. Yeah, it was good. Really fucking good. Ian, but you look good. My my prison, my legit prison pot. No, we gotta make it work. My shit. We're making it with a stinger. We're fucking it. Stinger? We're, 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 you gonna put the stinger together? Fuck it, I'll put the. We'll, we'll get the shit. Nick will go get it. We'll, we'll make a stinger right here. They gotta make the fucking stinger, JD. Oh, shit. You wanna really fucking play prison shit? Let's, I was in there for fucking two Hey, you were, the, you were in the fence. You got a microwave, too. Fuck, I used to they steal the microwave for bringing it in myself. Yeah, so you had so you had No, it. but we didn't have it. How about when you're in a hole and you make fire with nothing? There are no stingers in the hole. Nothing. You make a fire and you... And How do you, you make a fire? In the hole. You fucking make a burner out of the toilet paper. You light the fucking... How do you light it? You light it with batteries. Oh, because you get the radio in the fucking... Yeah, that's like, how people are yeah, smoking in the hole. Yeah, I forgot they put the, two, the batteries together. No, you take a piece of either a, a Hershey bar or a cigarette. Yeah. You stand on the yeah, top of a, a Marlboro top. Yeah. Your cops will give it you. And the fucking you slice that with the razor after you make the razor. Oh, oh, they used to take the razor blade with the battery to spark it or whatever. No, well, you can do that, but the best is this, and then you make it click and click, click and it yeah. goes off like that, like the burner. You used to have it ready to take a, a milk container, put the water in the milk container, or, you know, and it will burn and boil that water. Put it in my coffee. You have hot coffee in the hole. Yeah. Hot coffee in the hole. Or put that hot water in. Sometimes the faucets are hot enough though. Oh yeah, so fuck you yeah, so you get the hot coffee. Oh, the showers. Hot. When they have showers, I used to love the, the, the. Oh look at them. we give them a shower in the hole. Fuck you, because what they would do is that they put it on the cold water. Yeah. And I didn't give a shit when I'm naked and my dick shriveled up, and I didn't give a fuck, because that's what nobody cares. All right, you ready to go? Uh, we're waiting on that. I'm ready. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, oh, we guys, should be, we should be talking test, all right? We should be talking all right? Oh, it's good, you're on air. You test the sound? Sounds good, you're good. Oh, we're, are we on? Are we live? Well, we're not live yet. In an hour, we're live, you know? All right, awesome. We'll shoot the intro after them. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Hey, Nick. What's up, Blair? <laughs> should we bring Nick in to sit next to you? You can bring him in. All right, you're, you're live, I'm locked in in three, two, one.
Larry Lawton, the jewel thief, one of YouTube's biggest prison stars. Welcome to Locked In. You just had like a crazy travel ride with me in the car. You thought I was gonna hurt you or some crazy shit. You know, you would remember this, but this is Appalachian. It was back a mob thing back in the day in the 50s when all the mobsters got together in upstate New York. Why are we everybody good at just getting the diamonds? He owes me this or some bullshit I said, whatever it is. And the lady, I said, now you can't move until I leave for five minutes. And they go, okay, okay. In fact, the guy who worked for me at the time, Jimmy, who says, died. He fucked up. He goes back, comes back, he screws up. And goes, I look like fucking the Keystone fucking Robert. I got so mad at him. And I, I came back in the store and said, I'm just checking on you. I'm just checking on you. Oh, no, we're not going to move. Well, the next day, I get away. The next day in the newspaper. It's, they interviewed her and go, oh, he was a nice man. <laughs> I got about 800000 out of the robbery. And, but he was a nice man, you know. I never want to hurt other people, and I don't. I really have, I am very, very protective of young kids and elders. As you know, I take care of my mother who's 90. Uh, all kids. If it's adults, I don't give a fuck with them. You know, and I say that because, listen, I've been in more fights than I can ever count. Won a lot, lost some. Anybody who says they never lost a fight, you know what I tell them? You didn't fight the right guy. Because everybody loses fights. Good fights is like this, real fights.